Hi there, that's right. It's Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again for another delightful tarot reading. Now we've got a very naughty inquirer today who's asked me basically for a general reading. Now her YouTube channel name is Astralize. And the reason I don't always like doing general readings is because it won't necessarily relate to things that you're interested in. I often say to my clients, yes I can do a general reading for you if you'd like, but if there's something on your mind, it might not necessarily come out in the reading, so you just got to take what, basically what you're given. But I think I will let you go just this once, and I will do you a general reading just for today. As is traditional, I'm shuffling like mad right now, okay? So you can get a good feeling for what's coming out and coming through. And we'll just see what the reading says. Bear with me a second, please. Okay, everybody, here we go. This is based very loosely upon the Celtic Cross spread today. And let's have a quick look. Now, these signs here, they relate to your character and your nature. Strong sense of passion, strong sense of drive and uh, discipline, okay? But, but also with a feeling of creativity and romance there as well. So, uh, I'm not going to say you're a dreamer, but I'm saying that in, your inner nature is more romantic than your outer nature. Maybe you're someone who uh, enjoys maybe a little bit of maybe romantic literature or television, but you don't necessarily tell other people about this, and you keep it to yourself. That's your special little secret, okay? But the way other people see you is someone who's rather passionate, rather driven, rather full of energy and vitality and a strong sense of there being um, some real purpose about you too which I think is very very positive now you're consciously aware I mean this is the lover's card okay but the lover's card doesn't necessarily just mean referring to love but I would say that maybe there is a message of that type associated with this okay there's a feeling of there being uh, some new dimension to your life which is appearing on your horizon and therefore there's a sense of there being some um, desire for progress. Maybe this is something which is dominating your mind rather a lot at the moment and stopping you from focusing on, on other things right now. But let's have a quick look and see what the rest of the reading says. Hmm. You're subconsciously aware of forces which are acting upon you, which are taking away your ability to feel happy and free, a sense of restriction, a sense of being held back. So despite the fact that you're being quite creative in your problem solving, you've got the energy and drive to make things happen. You're aware there's going to be changes on your horizon. There's also a sense of restriction, which I feel goes, goes back to your past, which is still having a powerful effect upon your here and now. Because I, I'm sensing a bit of, like, dis, well, I would say disturbed, but maybe in this particular case it's depressive energy associated with the past. Maybe you've tried something big which hasn't quite worked out within the past few months, I'm not sure. But it feels to me as if there's been something which hasn't made you all that happy, okay? The anticipation of the future is actually looking really rather positive. That's more a sense of a new beginning. So I feel you're keeping your optimism going there, and I feel that relates to this sense of a, a new life waiting for you on the other side, okay? Possibly united with this sense of romantic energy as well, and a feeling of wanting to move your life further forward. So you're leaving this um, feeling of restriction and this feeling of restriction here behind you, and you're moving on to a new life, okay? So any negativity that you've experienced from failure, that's going away. Any sense of other people or other factors controlling you, that's going away as well. And looky here, this is absolutely beautiful. Now for you, maybe you can't quite see the beauty of this reading straight away, but we talked about change up here, and here we have the death card, which is talking about transformation. Within three months from today's date, something good is going to happen which is going to provide you with the ability to start bringing about the nice new life that you wanted to have, okay? So that's very, very, very good for you. There's a sense of other people trying to get in the way, but those signs are reversed. There's a sense of that not quite succeeding. So you're going to be able to get the new future that you want, the new life that you want, and a sense of very real progress here. So essentially it's a very good reading. Financially speaking, there's something unexpected and positive coming your way, not too far down the line as well. Maybe about six to eight months. And further on, that's the romantic signs. That's like the ultimate sense of something happening about 12 months down the line from now as a result of work which are putting into effect in the here and now, which is bringing about a new future um, associated with an individual. There's some allusion to a feeling of familiarity associated with this person, but not too much. So maybe it's someone who knows you, but you don't know them. Either way, a fascinating reading. Okay, now Astralized, you mentioned in your, in your private message to me that you haven't actually had a tarot reading before in your life. 
I do recommend them anyway because it can be a great opportunity just to have a conversation with somebody and a person who's not in your immediate circle of friends, okay, not necessarily a colleague, not a family member, someone who's completely removed from the situation and you can use that as an opportunity just, just to discuss a few issues and trying to get a bit more perspective or another point of view about something. Often the power of the reading is not actually in the reading itself, it's in the conversation and it's in your desire to try and use the conversation for your benefit in the long term. So yes, do get yourself some reading sorted out, do enjoy them and use them as a form of unofficial therapy to help you out in the long term. My impression would be that you are someone who will probably feel happier just having someone who's not in your immediate circle to be able to discuss a few things with. Now, don't get obsessive, don't have readings every single day like some people do. I actually think that's rather unhealthy. Uh, I would recommend maybe one once a week or one once a month, or indeed once every three or six months, just to keep yourself topped up maybe, all right? Now, this is a solution-finding service to a certain degree, but to the most part, it's a creativity stimulation service, because all I can do is I can tell you what I can see. And I'm not supposed to be the final decision maker, I'm not supposed to be the authoritarian individual who takes away from you the ability to think or the ability to make decisions for yourself. I'm just another person and another voice for you to talk to. And I think you've got to take that rational point of view about this. Now, do also bear in mind that a tarot reading is also a performance art, alright? Much more than anything else. And it's also an entertainment service, rather than a complete guide to the universe and you've also got to bear that in mind too but essentially have fun <laughs> because surely that's what life's about anyway okay alright now if, if this wasn't your reading but you'd like to request one send me a private message through YouTube and I'll be happy to add you to the rosa and we'll see how things go okay I bid you good fortune God and or goddess and or none of the above bless speak to you in a while bye for now